One of the things I've been really fascinated, which is actually why I wanted to come and do something like this, is because I'm interested in thinking and experiencing things that I don't normally experience in my normal life. I work, I enjoy my job, I run a business, it's very stressful, but I don't make things, and we make books, but I don't, my job isn't to make things. I have meetings and I sit in front of a screen. I sort of deliberately put myself up for this because I wanted to try and challenge the idea I have in my head that I'm not the kind of person that can make things. Because the boards are so beautiful. Something about the idea that I could contribute to that. And the first thing that surprised me this morning is that I did so much of it. And already today, my fingers are kind of tingling at the touch of wood. And even sawing the wood, and just the feeling of the vibrations doing it. You're so focused on what you're doing. Something about this, because you've got it in your hands, and it is commanding all of your senses. And that's been really wonderful. You get, I'm already feeling a sense of connection to this thing that's being made. You can't take me out of it. Even the bit that I've done so far, it's got all the quirks of me and the, how I've done it and the way I've glued it. Easily the biggest surprise for me this week, other than being able to make something so incredible, is how physically different I feel. And I keep waking up in the night and my hands are really, really aching. Not painful. I'm just aware of them in a different way because I wasn't expecting this to make me think so differently and feel so different in my own body. It's like anything that really changes you, you don't realise it's happening at the time, it's only once it's, you've gone past the line that you realise the line was there. Like today at the very end, I kept, I was waiting for the next stage and there wasn't another stage and I was sanding it and James left us alone to sand it and I realised that he wasn't going to come in and say stop. So I just gradually started to do it less vigorously. And then I started to not do it much at all. And then I kind of looked at it and there were bits that were slightly imperfect, but I sort of decided to leave them. And then, and then I decided to stop. Yeah, when I came in on Monday morning, I didn't think it would, I mean, I thought I'd be the first person that doesn't achieve the goal of making a board. And I definitely walked in being the kind of person that couldn't make things. I've never increased my confidence this much in this shorter space of time and I had no idea that making a surfboard would help me do that and that's a big thing to be taking home. And I've made something incredible and really surprised myself.